being stuck at home really stinks. But I'm grateful I can still watch TV, bake my favorite dessert, and video chat my friends. Hey Cheryl. All thanks to electricity. All this free time has me thinking things I've never thought of before. Like how does electricity get to our house? It's super cool, but seems dangerous. How do people safely work on electricity? Hmm, I should call Dakota Electric. They provide power to most of Dakota County. They'd know the answer. You know, Lucy, I'm really digging this six foot rule. But it got me thinking when people are at home, they should really be considering changing their CFLs to LEDs. Getting a phone call. Hello, Mr. Electricity, Dakota Electric. Yeah, I think we can help you out. Let's check it out. So here's the thing. Electricity is invisible. Just by looking at a power line, you're not able to tell if it's turned on or turned off. So we always want you to treat power lines as if they're turned on. We also want to remember that electricity is always looking for a fast and easy path to ground. We divide all objects into either a conductor or an insulator. Let's check out conductors. A conductor is any type of material that electricity can flow through. When we build power lines, we want to give it the easiest path possible to flow. Power lines are typically made out of aluminum or copper. Copper and aluminum are great conductors. Can water be a conductor? Yes. Can dirt be a conductor? Yes. Can humans be conductors? Yeah. As you can see, many objects are conductors, which is why we need to be so careful around electricity. When we want electricity to get from point A to point B, we give it a road. This road is called a phase. Wait, a phase? Yes, a phase. Look here. As you can see, a phase wire can be on top of a pole like this, or an underground wire like this. Phase wires can look different. In overhead wire, there's no covering. Underground wire needs to be covered so the electricity does not escape. To prevent the electricity from escaping to the ground, we wrap it in a rubber coating called an insulator. Insulators are the opposite of conductors. Electricity cannot flow through an insulator. We typically use rubber or fiberglass to protect our workers from electricity. There are several different types of personal protective equipment that line workers use when working on power lines. The first being rubber insulated sleeves. These sleeves protect them against contact with power lines. They also wear rubber gloves for the same purpose. The rubber protects their hands against contact with electricity. These rubber gloves have three fingers, which keep their hands warm in the winter time. The hard hats they wear are also an insulator. They protect the line worker against up to 20,000 volts. It also protects them against head injuries. Safety glasses are the final piece of personal protective equipment. They are made out of plastic, which is also an insulator. This is just some of the specialized personal protective equipment our crews need to wear to work safely on the power lines. Let's look at our model power line and talk about how electricity behaves. This power line, much like our actual power lines in the field, is about 10,000 volts of electricity. The average light bulb is 120 volts, making this power line about 100 times the voltage of a light bulb. That's a lot of voltage. Remember when we discussed that you can't see electricity? Try to decide whether these power lines are on or off. Hmm, I can't tell. That's because it's impossible to tell by looking at it. Electricity is invisible. Visible, visible, visible. All right, let's tie it all together. We learned about conductors, which electricity can flow through. We've learned about insulators, which electricity cannot flow through. And we've learned about phases, the road that electricity travels down. Power lines are made up of both conductors and insulators. Insulators sit on the top of the pole to prevent the electricity from escaping to ground. Remember, electricity is always trying to find the quickest path to ground. This power line is currently energized, but the insulators on the top of the pole are preventing the electricity from escaping to ground. If I put this metal pipe, which is a conductor, on the ground and put it in contact with this phase wire, I'm now giving the electricity the ability to travel to ground. Wow, I sure learned a lot today. Thanks, Mr. Electricity. Did we answer all your questions? Yes, but now I have even more. Well, why don't you call back tomorrow and we'll talk to you then. Sounds good.